I'm back. And I'm back watching another YouTube video. I just wanted to thank you guys. You seem to like the last one. I'm going to do another video. Uh, we're going to watch I'm going to watch some videos here. You can watch along. This time, we're going to watch a, another YouTuber that doesn't really get a lot of uh, movement on our side of the fence or, you know, with the, the group that we usually are watching. Uh, this is Weston Champlin. And he, I've been watching his channel for a little while. He is always building some really cool stuff. It's off the wall. And uh, I like, I like the... Uh, the diesel extra stuff. So we're going to be watching a video of his diesel Mustang. So let's check this thing out. This is the uh, testing the Cummins Mustangs towing capacity. First time I've seen it. I have not watched this video yet. So you get to watch it with me if you haven't seen it yet. And uh, opening scenes. Pretty cool looking. Looks like he's Looks like he's doing a movie or something. Okay. So this thing, no hood, unreal looking. It's got a Cummins in it, clearly. They welded the smoke on the back. And he calls it the smoke stang. For reasons. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Gonna pull something with this thing. As you can see, this is our big yellow school bus, right? The Looks like he's gonna pull a school bus. And the last time I had it out, I went off roading in it. And when I did that, I, uh, I kind of screwed it up because so I mean, right a Mustang well, we is 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 cool. You know, it's a cool car. But when you put a big diesel in it and turn it into a tractor, essentially, this is something cool. You guys know. I've got the uh, I've got a little bit of tractor fever myself. We do some cool stuff with the little mini tractors, so I am pretty excited to see what comes of this. Some redneck science here. Uh, this guy, I, I applaud his enthusiasm because it's genuine. This is not a. He's not trying to troll people. He's not trying to, to be any kind of um, actor or something different. This is real enthusiasm. He's clearly into this stuff. This is like what, you know, guys like us do when we've got the stuff to do it with. Okay, so we got a running school bus with no exhaust. All right, so he's going to pull this school bus with the smoke sting, and, and he's out in corn country now. I see. Okay. So he's got... <laughs> He's, he's got like a two inch ball on the back of the Mustang. I don't know. That's, I've got a bigger hitch on the, on the easy buck, which is my, my riding mower that I'm using to pull with. But uh, anyway, you know, he, he's gonna pull the school bus. It's, it's not that difficult on road, especially uh, to pull something that's loose. You know, like a, a pulling sled is gonna have a front end sled that, that's in the dirt resisting and a weight that progressively moves up it so i mean he's pulling a school bus while he's doing a burnout that's kind of expected i you know i have no no doubts that he can pull a school bus yeah yeah i don't know if i buy this whole surprised act here but it's genuinely fun to watch So he says it's a tow truck now. Come on. I think you need to put this thing in the dirt. Put some, put some like mud tires on the back or something. Pull that, pull that bus with a in the dirt. 
Okay, so now he's in California, apparently. Okay, so he's going to do a bunch of stuff with the smoke stand. Pretty cool. I mean, it's a great looking, great project. I like the, the idea. You can't put a hood on it, but, you know, it kind of reminds me of like a diesel Ruby. Like if you guys know Cletus McFarlane, his his car Ruby, that Corvette, kind of reminds me of that. It's like a diesel version of that. You got a big turbo way up high in your face, in the way. So now he's apparently on a movie set. So this part of the video is obviously not uh, too automotive. So now he's playing the. I, I guess he does play a little bit of a character. He he's he's playing the fish out of water character. He's a redneck over in California. Obviously, uh, California is not known for their redneckery. Okay, so they're going to do hair and makeup? I don't know, man. I don't know. This this blends the line. This blends the line. Now, I am going to skim this part of the video because I don't feel like watching it. Hopefully you guys don't mind. I'm going to skim. I'm going to skim. I'm going to skim. It looks like the action starts again around seven minutes, so that's where we're going to pick it up. In the burnout. Oh, look, it's Colette. I didn't expect that. You guys know Colette, Adam's girlfriend. She's driving. Oh, now they've got like horns on the front of the smoke stain. And I believe she's from California, so that's probably why she's over there doing some stuff. Okay. More movie stuff. I'm gonna skim some more here. So I think you know some of this stuff for me is a little boring. Let's get to the action, guys. Come on. So he's on set. He's doing some more stuff here. I want to see what he's pulling. I'm really interested in that. That's what I'm really going for. So what happens with me is when I start watching videos like this, if I don't start to see what I'm looking for, I start to skim. And maybe you guys do the same thing. I don't know. But I'm not going to sit here and watch too much without seeing some action. Looks like they're doing something, checking the oil, changing the oil. I don't know what we're going to fast forward. I want to see this thing pull something, whatever it was trying to pull. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're at 1040. All right. Oh, okay. I see. So they're going to pull a cement truck. Here we go. Can you? Of course you can pull it. No, you won't. You're gonna spin the tires before you you break the rear end. He's saying, "Can we? Will we break the rear end trying to pull this?" No, you're gonna you're gonna break the tires loose before you break anything on this car. I guarantee that. Especially at the angle they're pulling at. So the back of the car has a rope going up to the concrete truck's bumper, and when anytime you're pulling like that angle, essentially the weight is is trying to pull the car off the ground when you when you go. So that's gonna break the tires loose for sure. And it does. So here he is doing a burnout, doing a rolling burnout, pulling a cement truck. You know, pulling stuff on road is really not that difficult, especially if there's no brake applied and it's obviously able to roll. So, you know, as far as the physics go on this, you see, you get what you, you, get what you see here. Uh, but it is really cool to see 
either way i like pulling stuff you guys have seen me pulling big trucks with the uh little tractors and stuff so i appreciate it and there's a lot of work done to make this car do this with the diesel all right so we'll just kind of skim through here the back side of it everyone's having fun okay so it's an advertisement clearly so uh we're gonna end the video there obviously the action's done that was uh interesting to see um tell me what you guys think the smoke staying i mean I like the pulling idea, but I really think you should take it to the next level and uh, and put some off-road tires on the back, something something knobby or V-cut, some V-treads, and, and actually do like some pulling with it. I think that would be fun to watch. And uh, I'm excited. I want to do some more pulling with my truck. If you guys have, or not truck, I'm sorry, my tractor. I would like to do some more pulling with the truck too, the good old boy. But if you guys haven't seen, check it out. There it is, the Easy Buck, the pulling tractor, our little pulling tractor. If you guys haven't gotten your shirt yet, get it now while they last. Limited edition, not many. They're all right there, that's all of them. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoy that. Uh, I'll do some more of these as I see videos that I think are interesting. I haven't seen that video yet. I like to watch them with you, and hopefully you guys appreciate that. I will see you guys in the next one. <music>